Let's go. Man, you already know what time it is, boy. We back in the field. Now we gonna get straight to it. We already know Jarris, he was enlightened by God. Just like every man in here is enlightened. That's why I told you off the gate we talking to save believers. See, when you got faith, you know he had faith in Jesus. Because he said, the issue that I got with my daughter, I know you can handle that. See, that's what I believe. I believe that the issue that I got with the court system, I got finding a wife. I got this God already got that. So he won't with me. That's why I want... Watch you in my circle, now watch this here. We gonna go to 35, it said, while he had spoke, that came from one of the rulers of the synagogue, certain, which said, thy daughter is dead. Why trouble the master anymore? See, when you trust in God for something, you got to watch who you allow to be close to you, because they might not have the faith that you have, and Satan gonna use them to try to put doubt in you. Hmm. The Bible goes on to say, it says, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogues, be not afraid, only believe. Boy, when you got the Holy Ghost, and somebody trying to bring doubt to you, boy, the Holy Ghost will tell you, don't believe that lie, that's a lie from the devil. It goes on to say, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogues, be not afraid, only believe. Y'all wanted y'all to hear this. Then he said, and he suffered no man to follow him, except Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And you got to look at what he did. This Jesus Christ, he had 12 disciples, he told nine, you can't go no further. Yeah, it's people in your life when you say, I love you, but you don't got the faith that's necessary to walk with me to get my blessing. I'm going to tell you something. There's some people who God want to bless, but the people around you, you won't let go. So you can't get blessed. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Boy, I got on my mother. I got on my sister. I got on my own boys. Cause I want my blessing. Okay. You see me? When I say I am, everybody around me got faith like I got. That's why they wild with me. Jesus said in Matthew 10 36, he said, listen, he said, your enemies we will be those of your own household. Some of you sleeping with your enemy. Some of you breaking bread with your enemy. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. When you got the Holy Ghost, you are not ignorant to same devices. Well, I'm telling you right now, people call you flow. They call me flow. I gave up all the rank I had in the folk nation to follow Jesus. Because I want my God. I want my blessing. I'm going to tell you right now. Separation is necessary. Because if I have it separated, all these brothers get saved through the Holy Ghost that's in me. It wouldn't happen. Separation is necessary, but that don't mean that you abandon anybody. Amen. Amen. Oh my! I am. I am. I am. I am no wife. I need to understand, family. You got to understand what separation is, man. Separation is when anything that goes against what God has placed in your heart is a hindrance. You got to separate. You got to stay trouble. Understand that separation is so important for your blood. For the law that you have for your people, man. You can't do the things you need to do when God tells it needs to be a separation. You got to cut that off. You got to cut that out whether it's your hand or your eye. You got to cut that off. Oh, well. To have what he got for you, man. So don't care what another man says or another female says. When it comes to the greatness of you and the people around you. you they might not see what you see. But you see what you see. I know. And you stop where you stop. Oh, wait. God bless you. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up.